Hey guys, my name is Shai. Welcome to another yes or no pick a card reading. Just as a reminder, if you would like your questions to line up with my answers in the most optimal way, make sure that you phrase your question so that the yes that I give you will be the positive answer and the no that I give you will be the negative answer. That way everything will kind of jive the best with the energy in these cards. So let's get right into it. You got pals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and number 10. Okay, pile one. Five of swords, skull on a pike here. That's a no. <laughs> Don't need me to tell you that that is a no. So you're feeling conflicted. You're feeling like you've really been through the battle that you had some heartbreak in the past and you thought you were recovering and then you found out that no it really is the end you have I, like really i'm really fixating on this skull on this sword it's like a head on a pike so something is definitely over for you guys i don't think it would be in your best interests to continue to like go back to that or investigate that getting really a relationship vibe here probably a lot of you are asking about an ex but uh, really, for whatever this is, this is a no, like, no, just, you know, look at these tombstones down here. That's a no. Okay, pile number two. Ace of Pentacles, that's a yes. We love to see the aces, uh, especially in a yes or no reading. This means that go ahead, start your new venture. This is full of possibilities. And if you guys were asking about money, you have possibilities <laughs> of new money, of better finances, of a better job, of a better physical environment. If you're even if you're just thinking about like your home life, your your physical body, um, anything material, this is like turning a new leaf. You have all kinds of new potentials. Always with the aces, you might have heard me say before that we don't know like the full ultimate outcome yet with this ace. This is a card of beginnings. It is all about yes, go for it. Yes, things are looking great. Yes, this is a wonderful opportunity, but don't look too, too far ahead because we don't know the ultimate outcome. But in the meantime, this is your yes. And card number three, page of cups. You guys are going to be receiving a positive message, possibly a message of love, definitely a message of like abundance. Like I feel like, you know, in this time of quarantine, somebody could like show up and like give you a pack of toilet paper <laughs> when you guys we were like about to run out of toilet paper. So this is a yes. And I feel like like the extended message here is that don't worry. Like, even if you're getting right down to the wire, like say you're on your last roll of toilet paper, you know, I'll just going to go with the toilet paper as an example. Say you're on your last roll of toilet paper and you're really worried. You're like, I can't find toilet paper anywhere. It's all sold out. I can't get any. Nobody's giving me any. Oh, don't worry, because right in the nick of time, like right when you use that last square, you're going to like magically synchronously come into like a new pack of toilet paper. So don't worry. Trust the timing. Trust the cosmic timing. Everything is going to work out just exactly when it's supposed to. So don't worry about it. Things are going to be good. And probably someone's going to come in or some energy is going to come in and clear everything out, smooth everything out right just in time. Okay, card number four, 10 of pentacles. This is awesome. Always love to see it. Everything's going to be good. You guys are going to go, going to, you know, come into some money. You're going to come into abundance. You're going to come into physical comfort. Like 10 of pentacles. I, I can't really at this time right now, I can't think of anything bad uh, to say about it. Um, I mean, I guess you could say this could indicate a fixation on the physical as like compared to the transcendent, but that's not really a problem. I don't think you guys need to be worrying about that. If you guys are wondering like how you're going to pay your rent, <laughs> don't worry. Like some, you're going to like wake up in a few days and there's going to be like money in your bank account. Like the abundance is on its way. You don't need to worry about it. This is the card of absolute abundance. Literally money is growing on trees, guys. You got money growing on trees. Okay, card number five. Four of pentacles in reverse. That's a no. This card actually like jumped out in reverse. I had all the cards face up. So we're going to roll with it. This card, 
I know sometimes readers feel like when a, like when kind of a negative ish card is reversed that makes it positive, but I'm really not feeling that right now. I feel like this is like doubling down on being a stingy bastard. You know, this is, you know, what the card looks like face up. You got this pig all being kind of a Scrooge with his coins. So the four of pentacles isn't always negative, it can, but it can be like stagnant. Four of pentacles can mean, you know, you're saving. It's somebody who's like saving their money in a savings account instead of like investing it or doing anything with it which can be fine. That's not necessarily bad. It all depends on the circumstances, right? But at least in this moment, four of cup, four of pentacles reversed, I'm really feeling like somebody is like freaking out over money. You are really feeling like scarcity mentality. You're really feeling just insecure, like insecurity in your life, in your love life, in your physical environment. You feel threatened. You feel like just pervasive nervousness. And it is like, yeah, you're you're turning into a little bit of a Scrooge. <laughs> so this is a no. Um, and the extended message here is to try to chill out and understand that your feelings are coming from like a lot of external sources. They're not really yours and they're not really about the things you you think they are, right? If you're fixating on some kind of problem and worrying about it and just worrying and worrying and feeling nervous about it and anxious that thing isn't really the problem. You know, there's a bigger, there's a bigger picture here that you're not seeing. So try to zoom out and get a little bit of perspective. And card number six, 10 of swords. We all know that's a nope. That's a nope. 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 <laughs> this is everything is done. You have closed out the past. This is sometimes we associate the 10 of swords with the death card, but the thing about the death card is that it's like a phoenix energy. It's the death and the rebirth. This is just the end. Whatever you have laid to rest doesn't need to be resurrected. We don't need to go back to it. It is like the final death, the final ending. Like that's it, the period. You have put the period at the end of a sentence. That can be really good. Often that is good, right? We need to like put things in the past. We need to lay things to rest in order to move on. So something is done for you guys. You are going to be moving on from it, um, but it's over. It's over. Card number seven. And it's the seven of pentacles. That is synchronous. Okay. This is always a waiting energy. You guys are like growing your garden. You know, imagine like if you guys have ever grown anything, even just like some flowers on your balcony or something, right? Um, you plant your seeds and you have to wait and you have to wait patiently and you work on it and you water your garden and you weed your garden and you watch it grow. So you guys are working on something, but you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to wait. There is no yes or no at this time. So this is where I disappoint everybody and don't give a clear yes or no. But this card always means that, you know, things are going to, as long as everything stays like as it is now, if you continue on your current trajectory, if you do your work, if you know, you know, weed your garden and water your garden, everything's going to be good. You will have your harvest eventually. It's just, you got to wait. This is a not yet, not right now. You got to wait. You got to put in the work. So just, um, whatever you're asking about is going to have to be on the back burner for now, but still tend your garden guys. Pile seven, you need to tend your garden. Okay. Card number eight. Seven of Swords, that's a no. Somebody feels insecure and because of that, they are trying to get away with something. It doesn't have to be that malicious. You know, maybe you're just trying to steal the last slice of pizza because you don't know when you'll get to order pizza again. You know how, at least in my culture, <laughs> when everyone is hanging out eating pizza and there's one slice left, whoever you can't eat the last slice of pizza without asking. You know, you go, hey guys, does anybody have their eye on the last slice of pizza? But since you got to ask, everybody else has to say, no, 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 you go ahead, you have it. I didn't want it, I had enough. Even if they do want it, they can't take it from you because you asked. So <laughs> make sure you ask before you eat the last slice of pizza. You don't need to steal it. If you just go ahead and eat that last slice of pizza without asking everybody, now you're a dick. Now you just went and stole that last slice of pizza. Why did you do that? If you, if you could've, if you would've just asked, you could've had it. So. Yeah, guys, it's like that. Before you steal the last slice of pizza, just ask the room, ask everybody if anybody else had it in mind. And then, of course, they will say, nah, 
nah, man, you have the pizza because you followed the social like conventions. <laughs> yeah, it's like you guys are supposed to like learn to follow the social conventions in order to smooth out your relationships with humans. And I get how irritating that is. I'm not one for following social conventions at all. I'm always the black sheep in the room, you know, just bothering everybody with my very presence. You know, I, I, I do not jive well with humans. But, you know, of course, I have learned to be pragmatic about that. I have learned to play the social games. I have learned to follow some of the social norms when I choose to, when it is in my best interests, when it will smooth my day out for me. Sometimes it's just like literally in the interests of pragmatism. Play the social games, you know, do the human thing just for your own benefit because it'll make things easier for you. So this is a no. Don't try to get away with things. Try to be a little bit more like polite because uh, it'll that'll work out better for you guys. Card number nine. Knight of Swords, that's a yes. This is like now, go now. This is only a yes if you do it right now. <laughs> Which, so yeah, like turn off the video and run to whatever it is that you're asking about. Obviously use your discernment here because this is a general reading and there's going to be hundreds of people getting this card. So, you know, I can't be held accountable for what everybody does, but that is the energy of this card. Like act fast, act now or you might miss out. The thing is though, missing out might not be that big of a deal. It's kind of like running for the ice cream truck is what I just saw, <laughs> you know? Okay, you know, if you wanna catch the ice cream truck, you gotta jump out of your chair and run down this, like grab your wallet and run right now. Hope there's enough change in your wallet, you know, for to buy yourself an ice cream. You know, and if, and if you hesitate even so much as five seconds, that ice cream truck gonna be gone. But you know, if you miss the ice cream truck, is it really that big of a deal? You got to ask yourself that. Is this thing you're going to be missing out on that big of a deal? So be careful because with the Knight of Swords, you could rush in and, you know, this guy is like rushing into battle, right? And he can end up getting killed. So be careful about what you rush into. But with that being said, I feel like this is a yes. This is a, if you want to seize the opportunity, you have to do it now. But be careful not to break your neck in the process. And card number 10. Eight of Cups. <sighs> this is a no. This, like, I really like the Eight of Cups card. I don't really see it as a walking away. I don't see it as a disillusionment. I see it as the card of the spiritual journey. So I usually really like to see it. I think this is a really positive card. But in this, this particular Eight of Cups is really depressing to me. <laughs> she's looking, she's not really walking off into the wilderness. She is just sad she's like walking away from a funeral and it really like that energy really pervades this particular card like this particular version of the eight of cups for me so yeah something here is a no guys there's definitely like a gloomy a gloomy gloomy vibe however the extended message is this is still the card of spiritual awakening for you guys, maybe your spiritual awakening or whatever level of awakening you're going through is going to be particularly like, like involving leaving something behind. It'd be like, say you were, you were part of a religion and you were really like related really closely with that religion and it was good for you and you enjoyed it. And then you go through the spiritual awakening and you have to like leave your religion behind. And that is really, you know, disappointing and difficult for you. That that's sort of the the general vibe I get here. Just remember that, you know, you know, for somebody like that, for somebody going through a spiritual awakening that involves leaving their religion behind, well, your spiritual awakening is sort of realigning your your spirituality to where it was supposed to be this whole time, right? If you were kind of deep in a religious distortion, and I'm like distortion, I use it that that like as like an, I mean that as a neutral word, right? That is just how your spiritual energy was manifesting, you know, it was kind of aligned towards a particular religion. And then really now you're coming out of the distortion into a more universal like manifestation of your spiritual energy. And this doesn't need to be like a spiritual thing for everybody, but I hope like that example kind of shows you how I'm vibing on this. Um, you know, you can apply that to any area of your life, but I guess, yeah, this card, I'm really getting a no. But again, the, the general message is 
You're going to have to leave something behind in order to reach greater expanded heights. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.